In this short video, I will address a problem that may arise after you install Git. I'm going to run the Git bash dashboard. And uh, what may be happening is that Git still doesn't know who you are. And uh, maybe when you typed in the commands that I showed you in the previous video, which were git config and username, and you press enter and maybe you got nothing like I just like that just happened here. The same thing may be happening with your email. It's blank. And uh, whatever the reason behind it may be, the good thing about Git is that not only is it good at showing you what information it knows, it can also change it itself. So I will use another Git command, which is a Git config and then dash dash global. That will change it all around your computer. And uh, let's start with the username. I'll say user.name and then use double quotes and use your name. Type in my name and I'll press enter. Very much like Unix, Git Bash is not very responsive. You have to pull the information from it. So you have to, we'll check in a second to see if that change went through. Before that though, I'm going to do uh, another command that's just like the one I use. So I'll repeat the function, except it will be for email. And then I'll put inside of the quotes my email address that I'm currently using with GitHub, which is we are IDT at gmail.com. Close the quotes. Now I'll ask again using the uh, git config user name what is my name and it repeats it back to me and I'll do this once more with my email and now it knows what my email is so if you were having issues with Git and still not knowing your name even after you installed it uh, please go through these steps and uh, try launching Atom again at this point it should start to work if it doesn't, please uh, send me an email via eCampus uh, or ask uh, for further directions in uh, Slack. Thanks.